name's Daphne, and I love my planet. But I think that some prime ministers and other leaders just don't. And I think that has to completely change. There are three things that people say you try to get in life. Power, money, or love. So it seems most leaders want power and money. But my question is, what will they do with it if there's no planet to spend their money on or use their power? Instead of leaders, we have such horrible greeders. Can I ask, don't you politicians have children and maybe grandchildren? Don't you care about them? Don't you want them to have a good life and future and not need to go and live on another planet and just remember or imagine what a lovely world this once was? You've wasted more than 20 years thinking about other problems. But what's the point in solving other problems when the world might go puff? Then there will be no more problems and no more life. The, the dinosaurs were unlucky because they didn't know what was going to happen to them and couldn't help themselves. But we know what's happening and we know what's going to happen. If you want us all to die out and later be dug up, dug out by another creature or to be turned into fossils, then it's your choice to make. I am only nine years old, and there are hundreds of thousands of children, older and younger, like me. And we want to have a proper education, find good jobs, get to know our talents, travel the world, like you and your parents probably did before. If you don't listen to our protests, we won't be able to do any of that. And I tell you, we really, really want to do those things. But if you don't listen, I will ask you, did the suffragettes give up? Did Nelson Mandela stop fighting? Did Martin Luther King ever stop? No. So neither will we. We will carry on protesting and striking and marching and shouting until you listen and stop burning fossil fuels and stopping dangerous emissions and saving our world.